Okay, this is part two. Part two, sending files. I've been doing this for well over 15 minutes now. The video that they showed on YouTube is might have been true for them, but clearly not true for me. Still waiting for my Nexus 5 to do something different. And this is sending files to the device. I've got a status bar here that's still chunking along. And <clears throat> here's the UB ports recovery screen. This is what I got in the video. It just went straight to the installation. In this case, it's not. So UB ports installer 4.9 in the real world. This is what happens. This is a Windows 10 device. And that's a Nexus 5 device. I'm going to pause the video and wait till the sending part is done. Okay, something's happened. Finally, 20 minutes into the install, it says it's installing update. And it says the device will now perform the remaining steps. And now we're waiting for the remaining steps on this Nexus 5. Well, okay. That's slow too, so I'm going to come back after it's done doing what it's doing. Okay, five minutes or so. And now I've got Nexus 5 here. I don't know what it's doing. Supported by UB ports. UI is not responding. I'm going to disconnect the cable. Okay, oh, of course, as soon as I move the way the camera, something changes. All right, so something is happening here with Ubuntu Touch. And found something you don't like. Tell us or help us change it. Great. I've got something to tell you guys and girls. All right, we are <clears throat> waiting for the device to finish doing whatever it's doing. And I'll get back to you when it... Oh, gives me a UI. All right, so now I have a UI. I have a white screen. I have a white screen. White screen. Again, this is a Nexus 5. Hammerhead is what they called it. I'm going to pause while it. Okay, screen just went black. Let's see what happens when I turn it back on. I got a white screen. And buttons are not responding. Speakers. Okay, I got a speaker UI. But no other UI here. So instructions don't say anything about rebooting the machine, rebooting the device. We'll reboot and you can begin to explore Ubuntu Touch. So my question now, is it finished rebooting? Is it finished the installation? What's going on?
Do I reboot? Start over? All right. Is it recognizing? Yes, okay, it's, it's recognized the geometry. You see that it's switching. I'm gonna reboot. I'm gonna click on restart, which is hard for you to see. Click on restart. Okay, so I've got a UI here. It says English, choose your language. You probably can't see this because I'm not going to fuss with it too much. I don't have a SIM card installed right now on this phone, on this device. Click skip. And it wants me to connect to the Wi-Fi. 